Thank you for joining our Community Cloud webinar with Barry from Salesforce. My name is Jordan Snapper and I'm the Marketing Manager at CloudTech. So a little bit about us. Uh, CloudTech is a Salesforce Gold Partner and we have three different types of partnerships. And what distinguishes us from the other partners in Israel are three things, which are the SI, which is a system integrator. So we, we help onboarding new Salesforce customers and provide professional services for Salesforce users. We also provide our services in over 150 companies and organizations in Israel and, and also abroad in a wide variety of verticals. The second partnership is a PDO partner, which is a product development outsourcer, which means that beyond being a Salesforce integrator in companies and organizations, we're also accompanying product companies that are interested in selling their solution through Salesforce's B2B application store which is the App Exchange, the world's leading application store with over 3,000 different applications. And finally, the third partnership we have at CloudTech is the ISV, which is the Independent Software Vendor, which is a partnership given to anyone who has apps on the App Exchange. Uh, we have several products currently listed on the Salesforce App Exchange. CloudTech is located in Renana, Israel. We have over 55 employees. And our team consists of project managers, solution engineers, system architects, developers, implementers, Q&A administration. All of them are Salesforce certified. And as you can see here, we support close to 200 companies, both local and globally. Uh, at this moment, it's my pleasure to pass the mic over to Barry O'Halloran, the Salesforce Service Cloud Strategic Account Executive. Barry, good luck. So thanks very much, Jordan. Um, my name is Barry O'Halloran. I work alongside CloudTech very, very closely. Um, and this is basically our, I think it's our fourth or our fifth webinar that we run now on a perpetual series in, in every kind of three to four weeks. Today's topic is communities and service, okay? And we've done several different, uh, several different webinars now at this stage, but I think Community Cloud has one of our biggest um, uh, one of our biggest and, and most attractive uh, areas within Salesforce. So I work alongside all of the account managers here also within, uh, within Salesforce, uh, supporting customers like yourselves on how they can basically have a more personalized, better uh, customer service environment. Today's presentation and today's webinar basically I'm going to do maybe kind of 10-15 minutes of slides but it's not going to be death by PowerPoint. Then we're going to get into a demonstration and I'm going to talk about basically I'm going to show you the, the case life cycle and getting into a more detailed look and feel of the customer community and then I'm going to talk about some customers who have uh, who have done this in a real life environment okay. So just before we get started this is our message from our Solicitors from our uh, our, our uh, legal team. Okay, we are a publicly traded company, and um, it's important that you make all purchasing decisions based on the product that is generally available. So we live in an extraordinary time, and technology has changed and how we interact with companies. Okay, and we're connected now at all times. Uh, it's very rare to see a mobile phone out of people's hands or a smartphone. Okay, so. We're talking about IoT devices that enable us to have a very connected home and applications to mobile devices that give us instant access to information and interactions, I suppose, that are completely personalized based on our profile, our preferences, and our behavior. And I mean this by uh, buying gifts at the moment. It's, it's coming up to Christmas time here in Ireland, so if I'm buying gifts, um, for my wife or for my friends, then when I go on Facebook, I'm getting um, advertisements pushed out to me based on what I looked at or what I didn't purchase. So the, the connected um, applications are very much part of our daily lives now at this stage. So I suppose being connected as well has enabled the companies that we interact or we participate with um, to anticipate the next products we want to buy or the type of service we need and it's all with artificial intelligence. So if you think about going on Amazon and purchasing something, it will always suggest you to have a look at something else or to purchase something um, that somebody else has, has purchased. Okay, So this again is the artificial intelligence 
and the predictability that we're building in. So this means that it's whether you're a customer or a consumer facing company or a government agency, so customers now expect a much higher quantity and quality of customer experience. So it's especially true when it comes to customer experiences that most customer interactions are with a company. And as technology has changed, how we interact with companies, connecting us to instant personalized information at our fingertips uh, is getting easier. So customers don't want to pick up the phone to call you every time they have a question or need to access their account or need to reset their password. They're sick of long hold times, repetitive questions and incorrect answers from uninformed agents, so agents who don't know anything about the customer, what they have or what their problem is or how to find the answer. So a Harvard Business Review has found that about 81% of customers try self-service options before contacting the customer or before contacting a co company, sorry. So customers expect to be able to find the answers easily, log into their account, get personalized updates. I know from my own experience, from even dealing with my own mobile phone provider, when I need to log in and see my bill online or get some information or check if I'm due an upgrade, etc. Um, I don't need to and I don't want to call anybody. Okay, I want to be able to be self-sufficient and that's really what it's about. It's empowering your own customers to be self-sufficient. So great self-service is connected to business process and what do we mean by that? So leading companies today are setting the new standard with connected self-service to completely transform the customer experience. So for example, Hulu is standing up knowledge articles and FAQs for customers to easily read. And Logitech is enabling customers to quickly get answers through Q&A. Farmers Insurance is also extending business data and applications to customers so they can easily access their accounts and cases. So I know from my own experience it's just like banking online when I can log into the application I can get um, answers to any questions I might have through the application. I can see um, what is going on in my account. I can apply for a loan, etc. And this again is connected service. Okay, I suppose this is really the benchmark the customers now use when evaluating their experience and loyalty with the company. So some companies do struggle to meet co uh, customer expectations, but even to this day, like I mean, it's, it's very hard for companies to meet customer expectations. And what do we mean by this? It comes really as no surprise that it's hard to cobble together many disparate legacy systems that most companies do have at the moment. And we're talking old systems that they're not really user friendly. The legacy systems are also often accompanied by outdated user interfaces. Okay, they're not intuitive to use from uh, for your agents, okay, who are the face of your company. And I suppose the irony here is that most of the information that companies are currently able to provide to customers is very generic. It's not personalized. It's not the data and information customers want uh, to see today. So how do we help you deliver a completely connected self-service experience? And that's what we're going to show you in a couple of minutes with the customer community. So you can easily embed business processes from any system. So again, from logging into the community, being able to create a case, but the community knows who you are, what products you have, um, how important you are, okay, your previous cases, etc. And again, and it's building on this intelligence. So the intelligence service for every customer. So recommending the relevant content, the right answers, not just any answer, and also who, people who are best skilled to answer that, those questions. So if I'm creating a case that needs a specific agent or somebody with a certain skill, it's ensuring then that that case is rooted to that particular agent. And I suppose in building engaging experiences fast, so the community that we relaunched recently, okay, updated after our Dreamforce uh, that we that was on recently in October, 
Uh, what have we done or what have we released since? So Lightning Community Builder, which I'm going to show you in a couple of minutes. So this is basically enabling you to get up to speed an awful lot faster, do more, okay, but also that you don't need to be um, a coding professional to get this done. And this in turn then gives you about a 31% increase in case deflection. So being able to do this very, very quickly, being able to get a portal or a community up and running in no time using clicks rather than code, I'm going to show you this in the community builder. You can also easily add in the business processes from Salesforce partners or even from the App Exchange. Okay? And also you can jumpstart your deployment with industry specific lightning bolt solutions that are already pre-built. Okay? And these then are uh, workflows, these are different applications which you can then easily embed into your community. So I'm just going to change my screen now and get into the customer community. Okay, you should be able to all see my screen. So what we're showing you here today is an example and a sample customer community which is out of the box. So what you're looking at here is a template that comes as part of the customer community. Okay, but everything that you're looking at here is easily customizable. So this is just a sample um, demo account, but again, this is pretty much out of the box. I didn't have to do any coding to get this up and running. So you can see here then on the left-hand side, there are different uh, areas and different departments and different products. This is very easy and simple to do. And again, very simple to customize to your own look and feel. Okay, you can see here also that with the knowledge plugged into the customer community where I can search for answers, okay, um, you can easily uh, push information out to your customers in real time. Okay, so this is um, the suggested articles which are going to help them. Okay, you can also see then that I'm logged in here to the community, so I'm going to go in here to my uh, to my profile. So I'm pretending that I am a customer. And I, you can see here, now this is the information that you have on me. So you, uh, the customer, have on their customers. So you can see who I work for, uh, how good I am, what I do, who I report into, a little bit about me. Okay, and also then you can see, uh, I can see previous cases which I have created. Okay, and I can also create a case from the customer community. So why is this important? This is basically the one-stop shop now that me as a customer of yours can go into. I can create cases, I can log cases, I can do many, many things. And again, that means that I'm self-sufficient. I don't have to go and lift the phone. I don't have to send an email to contact support. I don't have to do anything like that. I can do that all myself. Okay, so that's adding in the great customer experience. So maybe if I wanted to go and find an answer here, Okay, as I'm typing, it's pulling out the keywords that I'm using to search. And the keywords then are related to different topics or different knowledge base articles. So I'm going to see here about how do I cancel an order. So this is a knowledge base article which is built into the customer community that again is ensuring that your customers get the right answer to their issues. This is cutting down then on the amount of cases coming into your support team. This is also ensuring then that the right answers are going out to your customer. So your agents now will be able to deal with more cases, more cases officially or efficiently, but also they will give your customers a better customer experience. So again, you can embed images, you can embed videos, you can embed whatever you want, images, etc., within the um, knowledge base articles. So keeping it completely interactive as well. You see here, was this article helpful, yes or no? Again, this is getting information in real time from your customers to see how useful your knowledge base articles are. Okay, so also then I can see related articles. So what else have pe people been looking for? So how do I cancel an order? That might not be the correct one for me. Uh, how do I check the status of an order? That might be a little bit better. So I'm gonna have a quick look at that one. And you can see here on the right hand side that 
28 people have looked at uh, these articles, 110, etc. So they're very popular. And again, which means that your customer is able to see the best answer for them. Really simple and straightforward. And all of this can be easily pushed out from your uh, from within the, the community um, builder and also from within the community console. So I can go and contact support if I can't find the right answer to my question. So I need to log a case here and basically if you have a look at the dependent drop down here, it's worked out that I have a commercial product and a residential product from uh, Cirrus, from, this, uh, from the dummy company here we're talking about today. Because I'm logged in, already it's building on the information that it's pulling from Salesforce. So I'm logging a case, I want to log it then against a commercial product. And again, everything you're looking at here is fully customizable. So you can easily have a dependent drop down going into more details when I select commercial products. Again, this is very, very simple and easy to do. So as I'm typing, again, it's pulling in the information from uh, the keywords, etc. And once I just move off that, it's going to push out these or suggest these articles to me before I create a case. So what does that mean? Again, it is building on the intelligence in real time from the customer. It's going to be cutting down on the amount of cases you might be getting in going, uh, how do I reset my password? Or I can't access this. Or when are you open until? or I want to return a product, how do I do that? This again is information you should be able to push out to your customers. So if I click on submit, that's going to now log a case into the, um, from the community and it's going to come into the service cloud console, okay? So this is the service cloud console and I covered this off in great detail uh, in our service cloud webinar that we ran a couple of weeks ago, okay? So this is basically now I'm pretending I'm not pretending I'm a customer anymore. Now I'm pretending I'm an agent and I'm working for you. This is where I live. This is where all my cases come into. Okay, And again, everything you see here is highly customizable. So you can, get, uh, you can ensure that your agents have all the right information at the right time. So I can see here that the case I just created for Lauren Boyle, I have an issue with my order. You can see who it's come in from. You can see it's a new case. It's medium priority because it's not that important. You can see who it's assigned to, and you can see it came in from the community. So I'm going to click in, and I'm going to show you the case now. I'm just going to give you a quick overview on what is within the um, Service Cloud Console. So the case details here on the left-hand side, again, really simple and straightforward. Quick overview of the case, the priority, what's going on, description, Lauren has an issue with an order, looking for somebody to contact her. The order is two days late. You can see the contact details. So yes, we know it's Lauren, but who does she work for? Uh, we know it's, she works for United Partners. So who is she? So she's the SVP of tech, so she's quite important. Okay, And also then I can see what other cases uh, Lauren has created from within, the, uh, from within the community. Also then from the community side, you can customize the layout very simply from within the agent console, okay? And again, this is very important for your agents. So you can also see, I know that uh, Lauren is very important, so we have a, a milestone against um, Lauren's case that when she's created it. So the case milestones here that we talk about are things that should have been done by a particular time. So an SLA or a service level agreement that we might have with the customer. So this case came in a couple of hours ago, and I can see now the first response is two hours and four minutes overdue. I should have got a solution proposed out to Lauren one hour and 22 minutes ago, which means I'm late on that as well. And the case should have been closed 44 minutes ago. So we have a two hour response time on their SLA, and I can see that I have missed all of that, okay? Why have I missed all of that? Because I left it sitting in the queue and I haven't been working it properly. So you can see also here then the full case details that Lauren has created, all of the updates as well, that these are the first response time, solution proposed, case closed, again, this hasn't happened. But also from the knowledge side, these are the predictability that we're talking about with the knowledge base articles, okay? So the case is about 
having an issue with an order and what it's doing is it's pulling in the keyword and it is pushing out the information again to the agent on the right answer to give the customer. How do I cancel an order? And I can hover over that before I attach it and I can look and I can see, yeah, that's the case that I want to attach. Go over here to the, to the arrow, I can attach the article, update, done. You can see here in the feed that now I've attached the article to that case and I can then update the status if I need to. So I'm going to say work waiting on the customer and save that. Now it's going to update the case and it's done. Or else if we want to update or do many actions at the one time, which might be a macro, okay, we can easily do this. So I'm going to um, have a quick look here about the request information. Again, these are things that, these are, uh, the macros are many actions with one or two clicks. So you can update the case, send a response, attach the case, you can then mark the case as closed all with one click. Very, very simple and straightforward. So I'm going to show you now, I'm going to jump back to the community builder and just to show you how simple and straightforward it is to change things within the community. So this really is groundbreaking from our side where you don't need to be a developer to update the customer community. You can get up and running in a matter of minutes, which again is very, very important. So now we're in the community builder, as you can see of extra menus here on the left hand side, and I can see that every different section in the community is outlined and I can highlight it. Now these are now what I'm looking at here are um, lightning bolt um, components which I've added in and I'm just going to show you them now. So I click on these components, you can see a full list here. Now these are the pre-built components which you can now add in very simply and straightforward onto your customer community. Okay, so one thing I might want to do here is I might want to add in a headline. Now you can see I've added in the headline. So what is this? Now basically it is a new component into your um, into your customer community. You could have an animated GIF here, you could have a banner, you could have a welcome message, etc. And again, everything here is in real time. So I'm just gonna change this now. Okay. So to make this live, click publish, publish the changes. It's now going to then send an automated email in the background um, to me to ensure then that it is, uh, it is done and it's that simple, okay, of how to update and change the customer community. So what does it look like? I can have a look here in the preview and this is just the new thing I've added in, okay. So I want to go back into the builder and show you some more. So what else can I do? I can change around the branding and the text colors, etc. So I'm going to change the colors from um, a slight black to maybe a light gray for the text. Okay. I can do that in real time. Or I want to change the action color or the link color. Okay. Let's change in the link color. I'm going to make it a red so it stands out. So you can see everything which is a link, you can see in here, now that's updated to red. I can also add in different images if I need to. Okay, so I can go and pull in um, different images I have here in the library, etc. and pull them in. So again, giving everyone here the ability to get up and running very, very quickly. Okay, I can mess around here with the page structure. So I can change around if you want to, um, to add in a new, uh, a new menu in the left hand side, if you wanted to change things around, if you wanted um, a language picker, etc., etc., you can do that. All of this comes as part of the customer community. So you can get up and running very, very quickly. And as I say, these are 
the different components. I might want to actually take that out, okay, if I want to, or previous cases, etc., etc. Okay, so I'm able to get this completed, up and running without any coding, with all clicks, with very intuitive drag and drop. Why would you then really kind of talk to a partner about this or involve the likes of, of uh, why would you involve Cloud Tech then on, for the community? You'd involve a partner or you would get Cloud Tech involved or have a conversation with them because the experience that Cloud Tech have in communities, in customer communities, uh, really is second to none. So many of our top customers will be using Cloud Tech for uh, communities, but also it's to take it on to the next level. It is all well and good getting up and running, but when you then want to add in um, all of the information, when you want to customize it to your sp uh, specified layout to get it really, really, um, I suppose, interactive and um, to the stage where it really jumps off the screen, okay? Um, so this is basically, the aim of the builder is to get you up and running, really simply, okay? but then you will need to go and, I suppose, take it to the next level. Okay, you can also then um, have a look at the different workspaces. You can also add in the different communities that you might have access to or customize the, um, the layout for the customer login themselves. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly update this and publish this. So there are all the changes that we've made in real time, again, really simply. So I'm just going to jump back quickly to um, talk about a couple of customers that we have worked with very, very closely, okay? So pure insurance, I suppose you're, you're probably thinking, what is a good use case for customer community? Anything B2C or anything that you're dealing with the end user. So every business has customers. And again, this is very important. So Pure Insurance, um, based in New York, they are, they provide uh, the privilege underwriters um, and they wanted to give their members, I suppose, a premium customer experience. They wanted to really disrupt the market, so increase customer loyalty and their net promoter score. So they wanted to ensure that their customers stayed with them for longer and ensure that they got a good customer experience. So. Pure Insurance's membership wanted to wanted greater self-sufficiency and they wanted to know more about what was happening in the claims process. So if I have an accident or if I have a claim, how do I then start the process? How do I then um, get the process going where a, a claims advisor would come out, would give me the right information, I would be able to give them medical reports or screenshots uh, or PDF documents, I would be able to see where the claim is, what process or, or what part of the process the claim is and how soon it's going to be uh, rectified. So as a Salesforce customer, um, pure customer data was already in Salesforce, okay? And adding communities and, and was the, the natural step then for pure to meet its goals. So you will find that customer communities was, is probably after people get up and running in Salesforce, then they would roll out communities. So pure, broad, greater efficiency and self-sufficiency to the members. So they gave the customers a fully integrated, secure, branded, fully responsive, easy to use member portal. And it provides access to um, customers' policies, their bills, their claims and appraisals. And also then, they got up and running very, very quickly. So um, they knew then from the community's platform, it gave, us, it gave them a competitive advantage to go to market quickly. So they were up and running in a matter of weeks with a fully fledged portal, which gave the customer access to their policies, their bills, their claims, etc., pulling all of the information from Salesforce. So the rule is, as we say internally, if you can look at it in Salesforce, you can expose it and you can work on it in the community. So if it exists in Salesforce, you can run it into the community. And again, this is seamless. So we're not talking about plugging in a different application or any integration here. This is all 
native on one platform. So I think that's really it now from my side. I've taken you through from the customer side um, the use case of creating a case within the customer community where it comes into then from your own service agent side and how you can respond to a case. Also then how I can build out a, a, a customer community very simply, um, which again is very easy and straightforward to get up and running. The main aim really of these webinars that, that we run with CloudTech are just to give you a high overview and a flavor of the art of the possible. And I suppose the next step really if you are interested in, in uh, having a conversation is to contact either uh, Jordan or myself uh, so we can um, we can basically schedule the next step which would be to have a conversation have a um, have a meeting if needs be uh, and also to ensure that your account manager is aware of, uh, of the conversation and we can then dig out uh, the customer use cases, talk about customer references, or give you samples and examples of people who have done it before, because we have um, vast experience in this. Um, okay, so Jordan, I think I'm pretty much finished from my side. Is there any questions there uh, from anybody in the audience? Uh, there aren't any, uh, but, but once again, if anybody does have any questions, please, please feel free to send them along to either myself or to Barry, and we'll be happy to get back to you. Okay, so just quickly on another thing when I have people here, um, I'm just going to jump back and show a different screen for two seconds. Okay, so this is our customer community guided tour. So we're going to send around an email to everybody um, who could and couldn't make it today, and this again will be part of it, okay? So this is basically uh, the main three things which we want to do within the customer community. So either help customers find answers fast, engage customers more deeply, etc. And this is a fully interactive um, guided tour, basically. Okay, and again, this is really simple and straightforward. So showing how customers connect, share familiar interests, okay. You can embed the likes of your uh, Twitter feeds, etc. Okay, personalize the experience. And again, this is probably the one of the most powerful things. So we'll show you a recording. There'll be a link to the recording of the webinar and also um, to this guided tour for customer communities. Okay. That's it for me, Jordan. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Barry. And uh, everybody, hope you have a great day.